Have you ever thought that the Renata splash art looked a little off to you? Well, that's probably because you're looking at it upside down. If you completely flip Renata's base splash art, you can see it's actually her reflection in a puddle with a dude lying in it. It's honestly a pretty cool little Easter egg. When Zeri and Echo are on the same team, they gain a buff named Zanai Ingenuity, which reads kids from the Undercity stick together. Additionally, each of them also get one extra gold when they get a kill. One of Zeri's quotes was added into the game as a response to an article on a Filipino targeted hate crime back in 2021. Back then, the attacker was shouting, you don't belong here, and so Ziri's quote is, I belong here. We all belong here. This isn't really useless, but if you're on the blue side trying to escape, you can use the alcove to slide right back to your tower in one go. All you have to do is click on this part here, and then you click on the blue flowers and you're good to go. It's actually pretty handy. If you're enjoying, please puppy and subscribe. Thanks, guys. If you look carefully in Uction's Wither Rose splash art, you can see Zeri just chilling in the background. In a way, Renata was originally going to be Silco. Riot explored their options in adding Silco into League of Legends as a champion, but just didn't like the feel of it. So they ended up going in an entirely different direction, and that's where Renata came in. Most new champions in League of Legends start from lore, or a piece of concept art, but the idea from Zeri started from a gun. In FPS games, you have to aim every single one of your shots, but in League, your auto attacks are almost guaranteed to hit for everyone. And that's where the idea for Zeri's auto attacks came into play, along with the idea of an assault rifle being her main weapon. Similarly, her W was designed to imitate how a sniper rifle would feel in League of Legends. If you also play Valorant, then you've probably noticed that there's a very similar character to Zeri in the game called Neon. So similar, in fact, that many people thought they were the same person, which isn't true, but also isn't not true. You see, the characters themselves aren't the same or even related. However, both are voiced by the same person, Vinil Velasquez. Hi, grab the spike. I'll show them. Lintik kayo. Salamat, thanks. Hi, you want to mess with him? You got to deal with me first. That's my team you're messing with. The reason that the two characters share so many similarities is because they were created in tandem together by the League and Valorant teams. You see, 20% of League of Legends players also happens to play Valorant, so they wanted to create a character that felt similar in both games so you could essentially play the same character or same type of character in both League of Legends and Valorant. They do, however, still have their differences. Both Zeri and Neon have an electric style to them, so Zeri became the positive one and Neon became the negative one, pun intended. This also plays into their personality. Zeri's personality is a lot more upbeat and perky, and Neon's is, well, a bit more negative. They even made sure to give Neon a negative bandage patch on her nose and Zeri a positive bandage patch on her cheek. Zeri skating around during her ultimate wasn't originally the plan, but after seeing this concept art, the idea began to grow in August, and it was eventually implemented. Zeri is strongly inspired by Filipino culture, a very family-oriented culture, which really fits her lore because Zan also also tends to have that neighborhood family culture feel vibe. According to Zeri's lore, she was born with electric abilities, but always struggled to control her powers. If she ever got angry, there was a good chance that the entire block would experience a power outage. This idea was actually inspired by the brownouts in the Philippines. The lead concept artist, Lone Wingy, is Filipino, and she mentioned how electricity always went out there, so she ended up making it a part of Zeri's background as well. Zeri's codename and development was Zon ADC, and Renata's was Chem Baroness. Some of Zeri's scratch abilities include a version of her ultimate that gave her 150% bonus movement speed and it wouldn't fall off until she took damage. Clearly, there were a lot of issues with that idea. Another was a passive that heavily increased the size of shields that she received. So one fun fact about Zeri is that her passive used to make the shields you put on her bigger. And so you'd have these things late game where like Janna or Lulu would shield Zeri and she'd gain another health bar. It was lit. This was one of the handful of bugs that came up with Zeri's release. This is what 10,000 plus movement speed looks like on Zeri. And yes, I spent way too long in the practice tool getting this. Way too long. But at least she goes burr. Did you know that both Zeri and Renata were both created as Zon champions because they were supposed to be released with the whole arcane event, but it ended up getting delayed. Renata is voiced by Deborah Wilson. The idea of using Renata Glask's... Glask's? Glask? Glask's full name was inspired by famous billionaires who are generally referred to by their full names, like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Bill Gates. It's basically a power move, and because she's someone with so much power and money in the lore, they wanted to give her that same feel. This is what Renata looks like without her mask. Mask. And here are some other potential options on what Renata almost ended up looking like as well. Speaking of her mask, did you know that Renata's mask was partially inspired by COVID-19? And Renata herself was partially inspired by cryptocurrency. The name Renata is Latin in origin and means reborn, which is fairly appropriate for her since, you know, she resurrects people with her W. Here's some of the original
original ideas for Renata's Q ability, including this terrifying version of her arm exploding. Additionally, here are some more early designs for Renata. I do kind of like the look of her having a sword, not gonna lie. Each one of Renata's abilities are referenced to real world financial terms, leverage, handshake, bailout, loyalty program, and hostile takeover. Renata was released less than two months ago, and there's already somebody on the EU and E server who has 361,534 mastery points. Some of you guys are actually insane. Thanks for watching. As always, a huge shout out to my tier three patrons, Josh Pusenzo, Noctak, James, Stefan, and thanks for joining last week, Gooseman. And thank you so much to my other patrons as well. All right, see you next time. Bye.